When it goes on sale in spring 2018, the Lexus LS500 will come standard with a wealth of technology and luxury touches we give the Lexus LS8 out of 10 for features, with extra credit for its plush standard and optional features, and a point for its stellar service reputation above the usual power features, cruise control, leather, and climate control. The LS500 will have navigation, a 12-speaker audio system with Bluetooth audio streaming and USB connectivity, active noise cancellation, and 19-inch wheels. A 2,400-watt Mark Levinson system with 23 speakers delivers beautifully rendered music for those who spend more for it on the options list. Lexus will have the safety features mentioned above, the executive package, 20-inch wheels, and all-wheel drive F Sport LS sedans will have distinctive exterior trim with aluminum trim and special 20-inch wheels inside. The F Sport has its own firmly padded 28-way power seats, a gauge cluster with a movable center gauge that reveals additional performance information, a suede headliner, and aluminum pedals and trim. All LS sedans come with a 12.3-inch display screen and a touchpad for infotainment input. The infotainment system uses touch input and voice commands to run phone, navigation, and audio systems, and it remains one of the clumsiest infotainment systems on the road. Its fingertip inputs nearly require a parked car, but bad interfaces are a poor way to control driver habits and to control functionality. We eagerly await Lexus Next Generation infotainment systems which may also include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. For now, neither third-party interface can be run from the Lexus LS, which makes Lexus a loner in the executive class lounge prices aren't firm yet. But Lexus says the base LS will begin around $75,000 hybrid sedans will command somewhere near $5,000 more, 